Do you ever find yourself wondering, is my audience going to like this? Or I don't want to do that because it may make my business seem tacky or unprofessional or I'm trying too hard. Well, you should stop. The reason is because the market determines what works, not what you think works. There's been times where I've tested something that I thought was going to be amazing and have great results and ended up falling flat on its face. Whereas something that I did and didn't even really mean to skyrocketed sales, boosted leads, all because the market decided. And when you understand how to read the data, you're going to know what's working and you're not going to have to rely on your own personal uh, thoughts or fears. Because the biggest mistake a new business owner or a new marketer or an entrepreneur can make when it comes to digital marketing is guessing what they think is going to work and deciding what they're going to do because of their estimation or their guess. And most of the time, people don't do things because they're afraid. So for example, I have a client that I'm running Facebook ads for. It's an e-commerce store. And in their store, they have a little banner at the top. And we had a free promotional code on there for new first time customers to try and get the cold audiences and first time buyers in because we knew we had a high lifetime value. So we had this code up and the cost per sale for this e-commerce store was like six bucks with the Facebook ads. So super great. And we were getting tons of sales, but all of a sudden the sales started tanking and the cost per sale went up to $10. And I was looking at all my Facebook ads. I still had the same cost per click, same click-through rates, same relevancy scores. Nothing had changed on the Facebook ads. But when I went to the website, they had taken the banner down. And I told them, hey, put that banner back up. Because that was the only thing that changed, I knew that was affecting the conversions and the cost per sale. They, and fair enough, the promotion had ended, but I was like, let's put up a new promotion. We're getting more sales in new customers. It's totally worth it because we have a high lifetime value. And that was a five, six, seven ROAS with the cost per sale at six. So they put it back up and the results went almost instantly back to where they were. A few weeks later, they took it down again. And I messaged them. I, I automatically saw the sales decreasing. So I was like, oh, they must have changed that because I hadn't changed anything on the Facebook ads. I hadn't upped the budget. It was at, like it was running optimally. And they'd taken it down again. The reason they took it down was because a customer made a comment, like emailed customer service or made a post on Instagram and was like, hey, that looks really tacky. So they took it down. Now, one person's opinion is now costing sales. They're literally throwing away two, three, and sometimes four dollars every time they get a sale because they're worried about what one person thought. The data doesn't lie. When you understand the Facebook ads data and conversion rates and, and understanding the whole data, you're not gonna make mistakes based on fears or what other people say. Personally, if it was me, I would have that banner up. I'd change it every few weeks and you know mix it up because I'm gonna get less, I'm gonna get more sales at a lower cost. So that's the point I wanted to make with this video was look at the data. Don't worry about what other people are saying. Try things with your ads and make adjustments. And if the click through rate goes up and the cost per click goes down, you made a good adjustment. If the cost per, if you're taking your landing page and you make a change and the cost per lead goes up and the conversion rates go down, you made a bad choice. You need to change it back. And that's digital marketing. You always have to be making adjustments and you should always be tracking what you make, like the adjustments you make and the effect it has because then you're going to be able to say, oh, two weeks ago, I made this adjustment. I need to go change it back because it's not working. Or, oh, we are on the right track here. That was awesome. So in digital marketing, you need to always, 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 always remember to look at the data, 
and have that be what pushes your choices and makes the decisions for you. Because if you rely too much on your fears and what you think and what you're worried about, you are going to make the wrong choices 90% of the time because we are not perfect. So I hope this video helps. Go ahead and leave a comment if it was. And what other questions do you have about digital marketing? What can you, what questions do you have that you'd like me to answer? And I'll answer them in upcoming videos. Also leave a like as it helps boost the videos and subscribe to the channel because, you know, if you want more digital marketing awesomeness, that's going to actually teach you how to um, kill it in digital marketing. I really try and focus on less fluff, more stuff. So go ahead and subscribe, click the button below, and uh, I'll see you next time.